All right, guys, Wrench here. Uh, sorry about this, but OBS decided that it wasn't going to record the audio for some reason, so I'm just going to do a quick voiceover here. Basically, this is in response to a post I made on the ED forums talking about some performance issues with the mirror or the repeater that Rift sends to uh, your desktop that you can record. So I've got OBS running with whatever settings it was I don't know. Uh, not really worried too much about how the video quality looks. This is more just a representation of what you'd be seeing uh, on my screen. Of course, it is cropped to full screen. So the trouble that I'm having is the head tracking looks awful and the frame rate kind of sucks. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, it, this is actually exactly what it looks like. Um, like I say, if you were just sitting next to me, so it's not OBS doing weird stuff. And I think the video quality is not that awful. Um, like I said, for some reason, I got no sound here, um, and I'm really rushing through this because I'm not really interested in trying to fly the aircraft properly or, or anything at this point. I recorded this video specifically for uh, this frame rate test, so you'll see me flying like an absolute idiot. Like here, I'm getting ready to actually turn around and land, and I did not even bother to try to land properly. Uh, basically, just wanted to get the thing on the ground uh, to see if that caused any frame rate issues uh, in particular. and um, and then switch to the A10. So uh, I apologize for making you cringe with literally every <laughs> control input that I made. Uh, what you'll mostly see is that the head tracking looks like my head is just wibble wobbling all over the place when I deliberately made my movements, you know, relatively smooth. And and you'll see a lot of like jitter, which is obviously not correct. So I'm just going to be uh, spinning around to kind of land it. Like I said, I'm just throwing this thing on the ground. Uh, come to think of it, I'm recording this before cutting anything out of the video. I was going to edit it down, uh, which I think I'll now skip just because the video is not going to end up being that long anyway. And, um, you know, that way I don't have to re-record this. So there's my great big bounce and lots of terribleness. <laughs> oh, that is worse than I thought it was. <laughs> Just saying something because I was actually <laughs> making excuses while I'm doing it in the sim. Yeah, it's sort of weird that OBS didn't record any sound because it showed on the meters that the sound was working. But again, that's really neither here nor there. We're just... Uh, you know, we're really just looking at the frames right now. The rest of the issues are fixable later. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and load into the A10. And this actually took a second to load, a little longer than it normally does. Although, I guess I'm used to the... I've been flying the Spitfire almost all the time recently. Um, so the uh, loading the, the amount of detail for the A10 is going to feel a little sluggish. Okay, here we go. Taking off. And, like, especially when I'm turning, you know, from one side of the cockpit way over to the other side, you can really see that uh, that jitter that I'm getting, um, which is really pretty insane. You know, and again, it doesn't look anything like that in the HMD. It's perfect. There's no stuttering. There's no drop frames. There's no frame rate issues. There's no head tracking issues. Um, the Rift, the HMD, is, is working flawlessly. Um, so to get these weird performance issues on the screen mirror, I really am not sure what the deal is. I mean, right there, when I looked over the, the right wing, it almost looked like I was getting some crazy buffeting, but that was actually just the, uh, yeah, just the frame rate that I'm getting or whatever's going on there. At first I thought it was something OBS was doing, like it was trying to, like it was moving the video around because I do have OBS cropping it, but uh, then I flew around and just took the HMD off and looked directly at the screen, and uh, it looked exactly like that, so uh, this is just happens to be cropped from my initial testing uh, when I noticed this problem in the first place, so again, it's not anything that OBS is doing, it's not because it's being cropped down, uh, that's actually what it looks like on the screen. And then this is basically the same thing. We're just going to whip around, do a really crappy landing, and uh, and wrap it up. So I just wanted you guys... Oh my god, that's bad. I just wanted you guys to get a chance to uh, sort of see what it's looking like here. And uh, it won't be too much more to the video.
It's interesting. I think it might actually be worse in the A-10 than it is in the Spitfire. I was sort of wondering, that's why I wanted to do multiple aircraft. I was thinking it's possible that it was the Spitfire in particular causing the problem. So I uh, loaded up the A-10 as well, which I believe I mentioned in the voiceover. I don't know. I know I said it in the video, but it gets hard to remember what I said when. Um, but yeah, I did, I did want to make sure that it wasn't something caused just by the Spitfire, and it seems actually to be worse upon my first viewing right now than, uh, than actually it was in the Spitfire. It's funny, that's one thing I'm still working on is uh, in the rift, I always feel like I'm a little farther away from the ground than I actually am, so I, I touch down uh, a lot sooner than I was expecting. I'm still working on that with the rift. I, I really haven't fl had a whole lot of uh, air time uh, with the rift yet, so hopefully we'll see some improvement in future videos there. And there I am trying to only use one brake pedal because uh, I've been flying the Spitfire so much. And uh, if I remember here, I was actually commenting that the Logitech um, uh, rudder pedals don't really seem to be anywhere near as good as the Cytex. All right, so there we go. That is a basic, uh, that is a pretty good representation of what I was talking about uh, frame rate wise. Um, so hopefully you guys can get an indication of, of the type of performance problems that I'm having and and maybe be able to uh, to help me out with some kind of solution or workaround for that. And then here, of course, I did the old full power bailout routine. So I will leave you guys uh, with the video there.